Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about the Galactic Star Cruiser again because somebody has to because nobody really cares about this stupid Disney hotel anymore. Right, and you know, we've talked before about some of the things that Disney's tried to use to get people to fill up the, the open spaces. Now their newest one is going to be discounts for cast members. Half off, half price. Actually, half. it seems like a little more than half price. That's crazy. So they're offering a very, very steep discount to cast members to fill up this uh, empty hole of what used to be Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's not a good situation, guys. Everybody calling out that the Galactic Star Cruiser is effectively a failure. If only people had said that was probably going to happen, you know, before it even opened. If only. Yeah, right. If only. If only many, 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 many YouTubers uh, said that, hey, this thing is going to fail. It's too expensive. It doesn't look like Star Wars. Uh, it's not worth the amount of money that they're charging for it. It's just, it's a very ill-conceived idea. Mm -hmm. Well, let me correct that. It's actually a good idea, poorly executed. Is that, is that fair? Yeah, I mean, and, and way too expensive. Way too expensive. If it were original trilogy, I would actually pay a couple thousand dollars to go have dinner with Darth Vader. You know, that mm -hmm. would be pretty cool with stormtroopers just kind of standing around like you better freaking eat your meatloaf or we're going to zap you. Some of these Star Wars cosplayers out there have these amazing groups and amazing cosplay and they do stuff for charity. And you probably could argue they could probably do something that's a dinner better and far cheaper and all the money would go to probably charity. So, yeah, if you give them $6,000 because you get dinner with Darth Vader, would it be better than the Galactic Star Cruiser? I mean, you probably give them like $500 and get dinner with Darth Vader. It'd be better than the Galactic Star Cruiser. I'm sure. So we did a video before talking about how they were offering discounts to guests, weren't they? Yeah, they had they had a couple of dis discounts. One of them was in quotes. DVC members, they were given like a 30% off discount. And then they weren't really giving a discount for a Star Cruiser, but they were offering uh, people could go book pretty much all deluxe hotels for like some money off of the hotel for stay after. Yeah. So you got the honor of staying there and paying full price to get a, a, a discount at hotel to spend more money to stay at Disney parks. They're doing everything they can do to try to drive traffic to this thing, except doing what they need to do, which is shut it down, retheme it, rethink it. Or we just cut the cost significantly. Yeah. yeah. But if they do that, if they do that, you know, darn well, they're going to cut a lot of the other stuff that comes with it. A lot of the food, a lot of the, they'll cut the cost, but then they're going to cut all the perks. Yeah. But I mean, at this point, it's like, it, look, the, the ship is going down in flames, right? Like you're going to have to do something. And honestly, if I were in charge, if I were in charge, armchair Imagineer, I, I would re-theme it for original trilogy. I'd make it a, a day long experience or a dinner theater type thing and call it a day. And people don't want to pay six thousand dollars to go to the atrium and watch rocks jiggle. No, <laughs> a lot more droids. You need some more droids. You need some animatronic uh, aliens. You need the job of the hut or something. 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 Star Wars. This isn't Star Wars. This is LARPing on Star Trek. We're going to talk about this mm -hmm. before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred ninety-five, almost two hundred ninety-six thousand subs. Thank you for the support. Go out to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective. Disney news and also check out our podcast, which we're bringing back as part of the Web Reef Podcast Network. Yes. Talk more about that later. We have a new one to go up. We, just have we do up have a new episode to go up. Yes. So, uh, yeah, tell me about this. Cast members reportedly offered a 50% discount. Yeah. So basically what's going on is what we kind of already mentioned is they're desperately trying to fill up rooms. So if you go down here, I actually have the calendar. This is the current calendar. Um, as you can see, March, April, May. Wide open, 17th to 18th have been blocked out since they right. released this calendar. Then you go to June, and this is supposed to be for chips between March and June, wide open. July and August, people are going to be like, oh, well, look at all those sold out dates. No, no, those are a lot of the dates they canceled. Cruises on and offered guests 50% off to rebook. Okay. okay. You know, so when you look through March through June, it's like wide open. There are no sold out dates. Yeah, and that's usually because we're talking like spring break is in there. Yeah, not even May yeah. the 4th. Like people just don't that's care. Weird. That is weird. But May the 4th, like they should do something special for, we talked about Life Day before, they should do something special for May the 4th and they don't do anything like that. Mm -mm. You know what they're probably hoping this is going to do is if we give cast members the opportunity to book it, I think it's more than 50% off, 
it's going to look like it's going to look like the rooms are filling up and it might create, you know, FOMO or, you know, people might right. want to book because of it is what they're probably thinking. Or they can go to the um, they can go to the shareholder meeting and pull up. Oh, look at these dates. They're all sold out. I'm not telling them, you know, hey, but that's because it was cast members and 50 percent off. Yeah. Um, but that's what's going on. And they cannot fill these rooms no matter what, because like we said, it was front loaded, one and done. People don't care to go back and it's too expensive for most people. Yeah, I mean, this is right up there with the uh, the Disney Plus numbers being like, you know, the free free Disney Plus membership with uh, Verizon. You know, right, and they count that as a paid subscriber. Right, right. So it's, it's yeah, it's not working for them. Everybody's calling it out now. I, I don't understand. Now, this only goes through, the calendar only goes through, what, September? September. Yeah, it goes through September. Uh, they haven't released the rest of the year. They'll probably do that in March. Uh, I'm interested to see what happens. I'm interested to see if they release the rest of the year or if they're like, well, this isn't working. I don't know. Yeah, so, um, well, that's what they did last year. I, so I, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to stay as is at least through September. Well, at least in September, yes. I, I, I do fully expect for this thing to get a reskin at some point in time. Well, up to September is when they're offering that deal uh, where you can get, like, the hotel, redu reduced hotel price for, like, stays at the hotel. Before, it's probably yeah. after you go to the Galactic Star Cruiser. That goes through September, I believe. Okay, so uh, inside the tragic, inside the tragic has has the actual prices here. So for uh, cast members, it'd be what, $24.90 for two adults, $26.70 for two adults and one child, and uh, $29.60 for three adults and a child. That actually is still more money than this thing should cost. Exactly. Normally. Like, I, I'm sorry. There's, there's no way to justify this. It's not even on par with a cruise ship. Everything I've seen is like, no, you get a lot more on a cruise. These ones, okay, so we're including your meals. Your, the meals don't, and don't equate to this much money per day. And you no. get to go to Galaxy's Edge for a small amount of time to ride uh, Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, okay. if again, it's working. If it's yeah, if it's again, working. Again, it's not you're not even getting a full day. You're getting a, a passes to go in the Batu for a while. You're not supposed to go to the other parts of the park or whatever. And it's not worth that cost. No, I mean this, this whole thing is not worth that cost. And this was a cash grab by Disney. Um It was really ill conceived. We said so since day one. As soon as the prices were coming out. Before that, we even said what we're hearing the prices are, and it turned out we, that they were actually worse than what we heard. Um, we thought that wasn't worth it. It's not even 48 hours. When you figure it in, you're not even getting 48 hours for this excursion, and they want like 6000 up to, up to $6,000. That's starting price, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, so here, um, this was just a, a, like two weeks ago on themeparktourist.com. Mm -hmm. They're even like, is this thing even going to survive? They're like, no, guess what? Welcome to the party. Yeah, they're like the high price tag for two days in the hotel discourages low and middle class families from visiting the Star Cruiser when their budget is better spent elsewhere on their Disney vacation or spending that money on an actual trip to actual Europe yeah. or something or you know, going on a Disney cruise, you can go on a Disney cruise for an actual Disney cruise for less than they're asking to be shoved into a Star Trek themed bunker. And that's what it is. It's Star Trek. It's not Star Wars. There's nothing about this that says Star Wars to me. Yeah, it's the whole thing's just ridiculous. So we have to wonder how uh, how long until they retheme this thing. They said um, the Star Cruiser features few familiar locations for longtime Star Wars fans. This has been somewhat of an issue since the opening of Galaxy's Edge. They could have just written this ourselves. Yeah, Disney naturally prioritizes locations and characters that were introduced in the sequel trilogy and accompanying Disney Plus shows while ignoring the beloved locations from the older films. Okay, theme park tourists, we kind of like you. Uh, Welcome this, to the party. Yeah, right? This is likely due to Disney's reluctance to disrupt the magic and immersion by having characters and locations from separate time periods in the same era. No, I've heard... Now, this is a rumor. I, I don't know if this is the case. I personally do not think it's the case because uh, George Lucas sold Star Wars uh, sold Star Wars lock, stock, and barrel to, to Disney. But people have said that he gets royalties off of characters that were created on his watch or something. I, again, I don't personally, I don't know if I agree with that because I think he sold the whole thing. That's what I know. I, I mean, without seeing the contract, I, I can't say. But right, you know, right. I, I'm with you. I think that usually something like that, you're selling the whole thing outright. You're not getting to keep... No, it, no, it's not like, yeah, I took $4 billion, but every stupid character ever in any of my movies I get royalties on from now until the yeah. end of the time. Again, without seeing the contract, it can't right. say Right, I, I, sure. I don't know for sure, and, and a lot of those details are, are pretty mum. But um, but then here, the introduction of the Galactic Star Cruiser to Disney is by no means a failure. Well, the hotel you're losing me. The hotel continues to maintain a steady supply no, of it bookings does not. and general interest. No, it doesn't. It does not. 
Uh, after the initial rush of popularity during the first few months of operation, it's unlikely the experience will recapture those numbers unless there is a truly large, meaningful upgrade. Right, which we've mentioned many times and they're not doing. They need to, if you're going to bring, if you've got the whales and you're going to bring them back from multiple stays, you've got to give them something new every time they go. Right. And even if they just, you know, even if they don't reskin it, if they had a new something happen. But they claim that they do that because they claim that every time you go, you can choose a different adventure. But it's all the same activities, which doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it does, but it's like, why? But it doesn't make sense that why you'd pay that much again for just that. No, because it's really not different. No, you've already done it. You've already done it, you know? Um, yeah, so are they like, is it sustainable for the future? Is there an answer? Is the answer a major upgrade? I don't know if it's an upgrade. Honestly, God, just take the all of Galaxy's Edge. All of the problems with Galaxy's Edge could be fixed if you would just turn it into original trilogy. Just reskin the whole damn, shut it down for six months, a year, and say, you know what? Batu is Tatooine now, and we're gonna reskin everything for original trilogy, or even uh, be original original trilogy adjacent and go for like the Mandalorian time period, mm -hmm. which is a couple of years after Return of the Jedi. Just something familiar. There's nothing familiar about Galaxy's Edge. No. You know, this is why Harry Potter's kicking their ass. This is why Nintendo's going to kick their ass because you're literally walking into worlds you already know and love. And that's what people expected. And it's huge to let that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. For and, way too much and, and money. They're, they're, why isn't it filling up? It's not. It's not. You see, it's wide open. There is not much interest in this. There are not that many rooms. There's like 100 rooms in the ship. So you can't say, oh, because there's, there's, there's a lot of interest, but it's not, you know, not enough to fill it. There's 100 rooms. It's not like there's a lot. You know what's funny though? They charge this much and they refuse to lower the price. But you know damn well if the rooms are staying full and it was a year later and the rooms are staying full, they would up the price? Yes. Oh yeah. Because supply and demand only ever works one way according to Disney. Yes, it does. So there's a lot more supply than there is demand in this case. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Yes. All right guys, we might have to start the uh, the countdown clock. How long until they re-theme or shut down the Galactic Star Cruiser? I'm, I'm curious to see what the rest of the dates to the, the end of the year are. Yeah, I think I think come September, because that's the end of their fiscal year too, mm -hmm. come September, if things don't improve dramatically, I, I really suspect there are gonna be some changes. Uh huh. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.